Today I show you how to change the Wi-Fi settings so that the IP is static and it's not DHCP. Sometimes the DHCP server might be a bit slow. DHCP is the server that will give the IP to your device. It's a computer or it's a phone or a laptop. It gives automatically an IP to your device. But in some cases you might want to have a static IP, a fixed IP. And you can do that with DHCP. Through DHCP you can set a specific IP for a device. So you don't really have to set it to static. But if you really want to set it to static to make sure that the IP is always the same and you maybe you have issues, problems with DHCP and you just want to have the IP static, this is really easy to do. So you, I show you this on Sony Xperia 1 Mark 5 Android 15, but this is going to be very similar on most Android phones. Open the quick settings and internet here, long press. On previous versions of Android, this was a little bit different, so I'll show you how to go to that from settings. Under the settings here, go to network and internet. And under internet, here you see the Wi-Fi and the 5G, the mobile data. So if I disable the Wi-Fi, I'm connected to 5G. And it could be also 4G, depending on the network speed, but when I'm connecting to Wi-Fi, it will automatically connect to this network. This is my network here. And if I want to see the network settings, I can tap on the gear icon here on for this for my network. Your network, you could have these settings separate for each network you might have. Here you have all the information about this network. You can disconnect from it, you can share it, you can change the password. If you change the password, you can update the password here. You can also, this is useful to be able to auto-connect or not auto-connect, depending on which network it is. And you see the information about the network type, the device, MAC address, IP address, gateway, subnet mask, DNS, and the IPv6 doesn't really matter for home networks. This is what matters here. You have the IP address, gateway, subnet mask, DNS. And these are automatically assigned from the router, from the internet box. And if I want to change that, I can tap on this pencil icon here. Here in this mode, you can change the password if you wanted to, and you can show it to make sure you're typing it right. Then you have advanced options, press on the little arrow there. And I forgot to remember the name, the IP. Most important is to remember which IP you had assigned. So I had seven. 192.168, these are default for most networks, More, most home networks are like this. And this is not a publicly accessible network, it's a local network. It's not my actual IP, it's just inside here on the local area network. Then 7.223, these are the mat what matters, and gateway 7.1. And the DNS, I will put 7.1 also. I'll put it like that, simple. So... For DNS, you can use any DNS from the internet, and I will show you now. So I go to the pencil, advanced, I don't use proxy settings, but on the IP settings, you see it says DHCP there. I change it to static, and once I change it to static, I can adjust the settings to how I want it. Actually, I already forgot the IP, so I'm just going to put some other IP, and I'll put I, this you have to type one one nine two one six eight dot seven dot so I will copy this because I will have to type this many times and I'll copy this part just to type it faster and I will give this one here I can actually change the IP of the phone so if I want the phone to have a different IP maybe something easier to remember if I need to connect to the phone I can give it a, another IP for example, 30, and the gateway, the gateway is correct here, 192.168.7.1, and network prefix, I don't really change these things. DNS, you can have, you can use 1.1.1.1 from Cloudflare, or 8888, from Google, or 4444, you can use any any of these. I think this, if you don't fill it, it will automatically use this one. So I will put the, the same IP as the router. So it takes from the internet box and save it. So now 
I can even do a disconnect. I'm connected to 5G, connected, and you see now the IP address is 192.168.7.30 and uh, DNS is the router and I, I change the IP address. If you want to make sure that the internet still is working, you can go to YouTube, you can open any app. I don't know, I feel the details wrong. So I'll try to disconnect. Disconnect, connect again. The DNS might be doing this, so you have to make sure that you have the details right there and I will try now to change it. I will try to add from the DNS setting again pencil and to also put the 8.8.8.8 as an extra extra DNS to have it just in case if the main DNS doesn't work to have the proper DNS. So now it's okay. Now it's working. Okay, so I added the extra DNS just to be sure and you can go to any website. This is my website here. Open a page, make sure that the websites are loading and that's it. Now you change the IP to static and you also change the IP of the phone to one that you prefer, not the automatically assigned one from the DHCP. But if you wanted to change the IP, if the reason was to only change the IP, you could have done it from the DHCP server on the internet box, but this is actually much easier and quicker to do it and you know it's going to be like this. If the internet settings change on the router, on the internet box, then you will not be able to connect to the Wi-Fi, so you have to change it back to the DHCP. For example, the IP address change, 192.168 becomes something else and something like that. Then you have to go to DHCP and get the new configuration for the IP. Thanks for watching.